Hello, welcome to Romero Threads on YouTube where it's all about embroidery. In today's video, I'm going to embroider on this very nice super plush towel from Costco. Very popular item to embroider on. This type of embroidery will never go out of style. So in today's video, I want to show you the most efficient, easiest way, and of course the nicest way to embroider on hand towels. All right, so just an FYI, these are Costco towels, very nice towels. They have very good quality. So let's go ahead, let's cut this up and let's check out this quality. So the hand towels, 16 by 30. So it gives us a good amount of space to put our design. Uh, FYI, uh, this design that I'm going to embroider today, is going to be available for free download. So if you wanna follow along, with this uh, project, go ahead and download it. I'll have it in the description. All right, so to hoop it, okay, we're gonna keep it very basic, okay? Towels, so they're not stretchy, right? They're very firm. So we don't really have to worry too much about using cutaway, all right? I like to use tearaways on our towels. So here, I have the Freestyle from Mighty Hoop. So here with the adjustable, you can adjust it to whatever size hoop you need. So today I'm using the eight by nine Mighty Hoop. You just put whatever size you need. Okay, lock it down. So I cut up my roll tearaway, cut it in half. This is very thin type tearaway. Okay, very easy to tear. Here, I just fold it in half and now I have two sheets. All right, so what makes this freestyle arm so convenient, right? It just holds that cutaway nice and tight right there. I think towels is one of the best, best gifts you can give somebody. It's so easy. There's no thinking. There's no much, there's not too much thinking involved when we're dealing with towels. So here we have a little line. You could kind of see it up here. I have a line to kind of guide me that that's our center point. Let me go ahead and real quick, we're going to create our center. So here on the towel, okay, you want to know what is the front side? What is the back side? So since the tag is here, this is my back side. This is the back side of the towel. So I fold it here. All right, so I want where the portion that I'm embroidering on, I don't want any of the tags to be here, all right? So here, it's free from tags. That way when it hangs, okay, when it hangs, my tag is hiding here in the back. This is my front side here, okay? So once again, there's no tags here and the fold, okay? Little small details, okay? This is little small details that can make or break a project. So you see the fold here, okay? Is it's it's inside. Couple ways to figure out your center point. You could just use the table mat here, eight inches here, so we're going four, okay? So you could just go here, measure it out here. I'm just using white chalk here. Another way to get your center point you could just use your ruler here. Also, if you don't have a pen, we have painter's tape here. You just need a little dot here, okay, just to mark it. So we'll mark it here as our center. You don't want to push it too hard. That way, when you peel it off, okay, you're not pulling too much of the fabric. All right, and then if you don't have a piece of tape, Right, the old fashioned way is just to fold it in half, right? And then you, you just fold it in half. You kind of like push it down a bit just so it could leave a crease. Then you have your center. So as you can see, it folded my tape perfectly in half. All right, so three quick ways to find your center line. All right, now, so we have our center line here. And just so you don't confuse yourself, you can put an F Right, right F on top. All right, now we have our hoop ready and situated here. And all we're going to do, okay, line up our towel here. Okay, what we want to do, we want to make sure we use this as our reference point. We're using the straight reference from our hoop here to make sure that we are 100% straight. Okay, so what I like to do, just hold it there where I know I'm good. And here we pull it because what happens is this wants to tend, this tends to want to push in. So we want to pull this in, 
while you're holding this side. Okay, we're just pu pulling that. Okay, making sure we're straight here, straight down here. All right, we want it's all about being perpendicular and parallel. All right, once we're good here, so my hoop, the bar is right here. Okay, that's because I want to be very close to this edge. So what I'm going to do, grab some tape, some painter's tape. All right, and I'm going to grab this piece here. Make sure it's nice and tight. Okay, so this here, this, this is the bar of my hoop. Okay, so it's just an extra layer of protection. Once we're confirmed that we're good to go, it's just a matter of attaching our hoop. All right, we want to just confirm that we're nice and straight. Okay, so we're using this as a guide, making sure our bottom, okay. Sometimes you just gotta gently tighten it up. All right, we're good to go. We have our front side here. All right, let's go ahead, let's take it to the embroidery machine. Okay, so real quick, you ideally you would like to insert your towel with the short end in, okay? But I went ahead, I, I flipped it around just so you can see it stitch out. Okay, so I'm going to center our design. And then real quick, I want my text to be above this line here. All right, so that cleared it perfect. All right, so we're good. We're ready to go. Okay, now I remove my F. You want it to be nice and clear. Make sure nothing's here kind of in the way. All right, let me see. I think we have a good angle here. Let's go ahead. Let's start our stitches. Okay, so right now, well, what's happening right now, we're doing a knockdown stitch. And this is just to make sure all that fluffiness that we have from the towel is well controlled and just for those who are new to the channel i do have a saturday morning embroidery class that we do every saturday 8 a.m central time so i do have a class on knockdown stitches so if you're interested about all the details because we go pretty deep with knockdown stitches okay so just as a reminder this file is going to be available for free download so if you want to do this project at home, I'll put the file down in the description. Of course, you could select your own color, your own color combination. Uh, if for some reason you don't want the knockdown stitch, you could always delete the knockdown stitch. But as you can see, it's very useful uh, when we're doing towels. And also as a reminder, I do have a free shipping promo code for those who are interested in purchasing Mighty Hoops. As you can see, very useful, very efficient, and makes life so much easier. The information on the promo code is down in the description. All you got to do is call up Mighty Hoops, give them promo code Romero Threads, and they'll take care of you. All right, let's check our masterpiece right here. Okay, so it looks very nice. So I did the matching one, the daddy and the mommy. All right, so let's see. Let's get uh, So the mommy, it's all done in one in uh, two stitches. So the first one is the knockdown stitch. So that's the first stitch cut. And then we change colors and then the mommy is, done, is all done in one shot. Okay, so no cutting in between. So as you can see the details, let's see, the details. It's very nice, right? I'm trying to give you a different angle. All right, so you can kind of see the details. It's all about the details. Okay, let's check more details. So since we're using tear away, okay, we could just tear this carefully, right? We always want to be careful. I use two tear aways because this is very thin type tear away. Okay, so 
and then you already know as you wash it right um, it becomes this is a towel so we don't really have to worry about puckering okay it's not a very stretchable item okay and then you always want to check that your tensions are good right so here right everything's looking nice and good all right you could kind of clean up these little small pieces that hang out there all right now let's check our final product and these towels like you could see it here uh, the way they're made so the more you wash them okay the fluffier they get all right so as you can see that's that's kind of like why I like these towels right here so that's kind of like the big feature of this Okay, so after three washes, you see that it kind of gets a little fluffier. All right, so these towels, okay, with, with this embroidery, they're pretty much going to last forever. All right, so let's look at our details. All right, so this is just very, very clean, very nice. Okay, here, let's see, let's zoom in. Yep, looking good. Looking good. Okay, you cannot go wrong with this as a gift make sure to hit that like hit that subscribe and all that good stuff any questions that you have leave it down below in the comments and i'll make sure i answer all your questions thank you very much and i'll see you on the next one peace out